What's well, so up guys, welcome back to some more Trials of the Mad Titan, and I'm skipping the previous three, uh, jumping straight to uh, Trials of Omniscience. Um, and I'll probably upload them, uh, or at least record some new ones and upload it later on this week. Uh, I just want to get everything cleared off my phone so that I can record and upload the uh, mass, you know, at least some of the not master um, uncollected from the new event quest that starts today um, but yeah on to this uh, bring in Archangel for this first fight um, very very easy especially with all of the buffs up I did mess up there I had the unstoppable on and kind of kind of threw me off a little bit um, but yeah, up next so I brought in Ronin expecting to stun lock the opponent and then I see the the opponent is a kingpin so um, yeah, I was upset about that wasn't sure who to bring in so I brought in voodoo and this turned out to be an extremely long fight um, I want to say it was like somewhere around three minutes or something like that uh, but basically what I was thinking was um, I can get off an L1 and he's supposed to he has like a he has a 50% chance to strike off debuffs uh, but the problem was all of the debuffs didn't apply so he shrugged off he stopped like I forget how many of them and then he shrugged off the rest so I was like man that sucked so don't bother using the L1 so I went ahead and fire off the L2 so that I can get some uh, um, power burn going and then I thought okay let me try doing a special on the odd combo so do that to reduce his the accuracy by 50% so that's to bring the 50% that he has down to 25% um, and I'm gonna fire this L3 off again and I believe the next special I use is an L1 on an odd co combo and hoping that I could um, get a few poisons on them but again not all the buffs were converted into poison and then um, like one or two of them that weren't converted got shrugged off uh, immediately afterwards so I don't, I don't know what's going on with using voodoo against kingpin but yeah it's there's like he gets um, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so on to the next fight. I got a Winter Soldier on for the uh, Fury Aggression. And I went ahead and brought Voodoo. And for this fight, um, forget what the strategy was. I think just get to L2 and do uh, Power Burns from there. So uh, yeah, this is back to regular gameplay mode um, like I said the last fight was just really really long um, I guess it definitely would have been better to use Archangel for that fight or um, hmm, not sure who if I had a ranked up Sabretooth that would be actually that would be the best choice for that fight um, as long as you bring in the synergy with either Black Panther or Killmonger either of the Black Panthers will do and then um, or uh, Killmonger and yeah then uh, Kingpin wouldn't be able to shrug off any of the debuffs uh, but yeah this fight what's is going very very easily see all the debuffs that he has on him and um, with this that's a lot of that is from the buff which is uh, I think every critical hit that you land um, either has a chance I, I think it's 100% chance to cause a random debuff on the opponent so yeah this would be a great um, buff to use with say void uh, as long as they are all different debuffs then it's going to increase his damage output or not his damage output but it's going to increase the damage that he does on the opponent and then um, Luke Cage for every debuff on the opponent doesn't matter if it's a different one or not or it could just be the same one over and over again 
Um, for every debuff, he it increases his attack by a certain amount. So yeah, he would just like crush um, the opponents here. So next time, I probably will go ahead and bring uh, Luke Cage to try him out and see how he does. Um, but yeah, just switch back to to uh, Hawkeye. Uh, take that fight down pretty quickly and so this one is a, it's a power gain note and I was thinking okay I'll just go ahead and bring Hawkeye again uh, do the L1 to keep his power under control uh, what I wasn't expecting though is I know that Crossbones has a chance to shrug off debuffs and what I didn't Think that he was going to be able to do is shrug off the power power drain from um, Hawkeye. So uh, see here. Uh, I think after this combo, I'll go ahead and fire off the L1, and he shrugs off both the bleed and the power drain. So I didn't get a power drain there, uh, which is weird. I, I don't I don't understand why certain champions their power drain is considered a debuff, and another champions their power drain. You know is not I mean I, I, it shouldn't be a debuff you, you're not actually putting a debuff you know there's there's no debuff symbol that pops up there so I don't, I don't understand why uh, one works and the other one doesn't um, I can't remember which who all champions can't power drain on, on um, debuff immune champs or nodes I do know that Dormammu can so uh, there's no issue there. Can't remember if Magic can or not, and I can't remember about Vision either. But uh, yeah, so on to the final fight. Got a Sentry here, and what is uh, Brute Force? So I'll just go ahead and bring in my um, Rocket Raccoon for the final fight, and I do end up messing up towards the end. And I'll tell you what happens when we get there. So, uh, yeah, starting off just trying to get past the first 25% in health to uh, get rid of that armor up. So that's what's um, that's what's messing up my attack power at the beginning of this fight. So I don't even think I fire off an L. Yeah, I was I was confused as to what was going on. I wasn't expecting a stun, so that's why I didn't fire off the the. Um, L2 because I was looking at uh, I was looking at his power and I started looking at the debuffs on him. So what happened there was uh, it's something that's been happening to me a lot lately. Uh, they they do like a, a starter step and instead of dashing in, they they just release block and they they walk forward and they block again and they walk forward again and then um, I'm expecting that one of those to be a dash and I dash back. So as soon as I dash back, they dash in and um, yeah, hit me with a combo but uh, anyways able to finish off the fight didn't use any revives and die whatever so what I was planning on doing was when the new feature five star crystal gets released which is next Tuesday I was gonna open that up and hope you know was hoping for um, you know, like Killmonger or Proxima Midnight, Bishop, um, Sabretooth, I think, um, who's the other one? Sentinel. So I already have Gladiator Hulk, or Hulk Ragnarok, I mean. Um, but yeah, there's so many champions that's not in that pool, that are in the basic pool, that I really want. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait for Void to be released into the basic pool, which will be next Tuesday as well. I, I'm not sure if it happens during the day on Tuesday or if it's after the um, server maintenance. But yeah, you know, I'm hoping for like Void, Dark Spidey, Ghost Rider, Medusa, Mephisto, uh, Morningstar, Hyperion, Hood, uh, Dormammu. There's so many champions out there that I want. So hopefully I can get one of those. If I do get Stark Spidey, um, I can take him to rank 3. Would have to get some more tier 4 class catalyst to take him to rank 4. But he is ideal for me to uh, work on doing 100% uh, Labyrinth, Labyrinth of Legends. I did do one run already. Um, uh, Medusa as well. If I got Medusa, I could actually take her straight to rank 5. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, if not, if I don't get anybody good for that, then I'll just go ahead and 
take Star Lord up to rank five eventually, and work on clear, clearing Labyrinth of Legends with him, him and Blade. Uh, just because, I mean, I, I know I have Blade, but it would be nice to have a a, um, a harder hitting champion. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.